Hey guys, welcome to this week's Leet class. I have a very special treat for you because today my friend Sierra, who is in pre-K at Becker, is going to be singing our Leet welcome song with her little sister Michaela. So you guys stand up and sing along with them. so great. I loved it so much. If you guys want to sing the welcome song for next week, just send me a video and I will make sure to include it. All right. Today we are reading Early Bird by Tony Yuli. Here we go. Early Bird likes to wake up early. She stands as tall as she can. Can you guys stand up and stretch as tall as you can? Takes a deep breath. <gasps> a fresh morning air. And then early bird gets going. I wonder where she's going. Where do you guys think Early Bird is going to go? Across the grass. Through the flower bed. Under the spider web. Up the path. Around the corner. Don't wake that sleeping kitty. And over the cat. Finally, Early Bird reaches the garden where she finds, what do you guys think she's looking for? <gasps> the Early Warm. Like, okay guys, what do you think's gonna happen here? What is the Early Bird gonna do with this little guy here? Early Bird is hungry after her journey. Uh-oh. She lays the early warm on top of a big, fat, juicy strawberry. Look, the strawberry and the early bird are both what color? And together, they share an early breakfast. Look how sweet. You guys didn't think she was going to eat the worm, did you? The end. Okay, let's do a little poem called Five Eggs and Five Eggs. Five eggs and five eggs. And that makes 10. Sitting on top is mother hen. Crackle, crackle, crackle. What do you see? A fluffy little chick looking at me. And if you guys have a little bird or a little pom-pom or a little feather, you can put it in your hands while you sing that song. And 
actually had the little chick crack out of the egg. Okay, one more. You guys all got some of these and some popsicle sticks. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video, cut out your little trees and tape them or glue them to a popsicle stick and then we will do this together. All right, here we go. Pink bird, pink bird sitting in a tree. Name all the pink things that you see. Did you guys see anything pink? Can you tell me? Look around. All right. Yellow bird, yellow bird sitting in a tree. Name all the yellow things that you see. All right, name one thing that's yellow. Good job. Green bird, green bird sitting in a tree. Name one green thing that you see. Red bird, red bird sitting in a tree. Name at least one red thing that you see. Can you guys find anything red? Blue bird, blue bird sitting in a tree. Name one blue thing that you see. Nice. Orange bird, orange bird sitting in a tree. Name one orange thing that you see. Good job, my friends. All right, so you all should have a blue piece of paper, some brown strips, a little bird. I went ahead and stuck the eyes and beak on and some little tiny pieces of multicolored paper. So what you're going to do, you can put your paper either way. I'm gonna put mine like this. But your mom or your dad or whoever's helping you is gonna put glue on the pieces of brown paper and you are going to stick them wherever you want on your blue paper. And we are going to imagine that these are branches in a tree way up high. There are my branches in the tree, way up high. And now we need to make a little nest for our bird. This is our baby bird. So you're gonna pick a branch, wherever you want. Let's see, I will do mine right here. And your mom or your dad or your helper is gonna put a big glob of glue right where you want your nest to go. So there's my nest. And then you get to take all your little pieces and just like a mama bird would, she would just start dropping all of her little pieces and we'll pretend these are little twigs and maybe some little yarn and all kinds of things that she found to make a little nest for her baby bird. There we go. So there is our little baby bird's nest. And now we are gonna put a little glue on the back of our baby bird and stick her right in the nest. And there you go, there's your baby bird in the nest. Okay, my friends, I loved reading to you today and doing some poems and working on some art projects. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And we are going to sing the goodbye song now because I keep forgetting, so here we go. Touch the stars all the way up on your tippy toes. Touch your toes. Turn around and touch your nose. Wave down low and wave up high. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great day and a very happy Passover if you're celebrating Passover and a very happy Easter if you're celebrating Easter.